Ah, that was some ride. David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back, everybody. I am in Maryland right now with my friend Ray. Ray, how are you? Very good. Good to see you again. Absolutely. We are here in front of Free State Gun Range. And by the way, um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. We're dressed in Skyfall blues, looking exactly alike, like the Bobsy Twins. But for good reason. I think we're going to have a little bit of fun today, aren't we? We are. We are going to shoot lots of Bond guns today. Oh my gosh, a vlog that everybody's requested. So let's go and do this without further ado. Let's do it. We'll see you in there. All right, we are now inside this amazing facility. And folks, this is what we've come for. So, Ray, what's what's the first gun we're gonna be uh, looking at? So the first one we're gonna look at is the Beretta 418. All right, let's take a look at that right here. Talk to me about this. Where do we see this? So we don't actually see it. It's actually mentioned in the novels a handful of times. It's Bond's sidearm before he receives the PPK. Uh, it's heavily modified. He actually sawed down the front sight um, remove the grips, they, uh, it's called skeletonization. Hmm. Um, he threads the front barrel and he actually has the grip taped. There's a safety on the back right where you would ah. grab. That has to be depressed for the gun to even fire. Okay. Um, in the novels he actually has that taped up. In this case we don't have it that way for safety reasons. I totally got it. Well this is good. Um, so we didn't come just to talk about and look at these things. We're going to shoot each one of these, right? We absolutely Including are. this one? Absolutely. I think we need to go do this. Let's do it. All right. All right, here we are. We are now on the range. Now, by the way, right off the bat, Ray, as everybody can see, it is about safety and respect first. So, you know, something to protect the eyes, something to protect the ears. You're gonna hear Ray shouting out a lot of things. That's for specifically everybody's safety. It's gotta be safety first, right? All right, so we're going in chronological order. Uh, remind everybody of the gun we have. All right, so the first up is the Beretta 418. Um, this is the gun from the Bond novels before he actually gets the PPK. Uh, it's calibered in 25 auto. Um, it's a real small round, it makes kind of a pop. It's a little bit more than a 22, but it's still a lot of fun to shoot. Here we go, let's do it. Go hot! Ready? Yeah. All right. There you go. Now, popping noise was all there. Did it have any kick whatsoever? No, no, not at all. It's um, it's kind of like a BB gun with a bottle rocket behind it. It's probably the best. Way. It's a great way to describe it. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one. Sounds good. All right, so I, I didn't expect this, but Ray's actually going to let me fire this. This is very cool. By the way, right off the bat, it's amazingly light. I mean, really, this is a very light gun. So. Um, it's on safety right now. It is now uh, on fire, so we're gonna go. Gun hot! One health. And I think we're out. All right, clear. All right, first of all, that was a lot of fun. I didn't expect it to be that much fun, and it was strange without the handle. It made it a little kind of interesting, but what's what's the next gun we're gonna be looking at? Uh, the most iconic of all the Bond uh, guns, the PPK. Yes. Now this particular one right here is, um, it's not like my PPK, my Smith & Wesson. How old is this? Uh, this one's from 1939, so it's a pre-war PPK. Uh -huh. uh, there's little differences in the frame. Uh, you'll notice the curve right up front at the muzzle is a little bit different than the, older, uh, the newer models. Um, but it's all the bit, same basic principles. It has the decocker, uh, 32 caliber. Um, it's the bomb gun. It is the bomb gun. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, he gets this right off the bat in Dr. No, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he has the Beretta in Dr. No. He actually has the hand into M before he's issued the PPK. The American CIA swear by it. Yeah. And uh, so it's a, it's a fun gun to shoot. Now this one, unlike mine, this has got one hell of a bite. When we say bite, for those of you uninitiated, see the soft little part right here? Goodbye. It can really just gouge right into it, right? Absolutely. If you have larger hands, um, real quick. if you have larger hands, and notice the tail right here. Yeah. 
goes right over the meat of your hand. So if you grip too high on it, when that slide comes back, it's actually going to rub and cut your hand. Yeah, so we want to be careful of that, and we will. Should we uh, give this a whirl? Absolutely. Let's go do this. All right, we mentioned this is an iconic piece. Now, what are we expecting out of this? This, uh, believe it or not, there's still not a whole lot of kick. It's actually a really fun shooter. It's one of my personal favorites, aside from being the having the bond connection. Just a really fun gun. Uh, the one thing to look out for, remember the slide fight for a PPK that we talked about in the class. And I have a Smith & Wesson one of these. Um, not as much bite, but this one you gotta be really careful of. Yes, very much so. All right, let's do it. Ready? All right, safety's off, going hot. Maybe it's me. There is nothing like the Walter PPK as far as shooting. I mean, there's there's a lot of fun guns out there, but the whole nostalgia and connection to Bond makes it so much fun. It absolutely does. Yeah. So so we're going to head to another Walter now. Yes, the Walter P5. All right. Nine millimeter. So we've got this one in Octopussy, um, the uncannon uh, Sean Connery film, as well. As never say never again. Yes, Octopussy and. Uh, License to Kill. License to Kill. So it's got a, a trilogy of Bond weaponry. Um, tell me what kind of uh, ammunition this takes. Uh, nine millimeter. All right. Now this feels heavier, mm -hmm. um, more modern, obviously. Yes. And that extra weight's actually going to help mitigate the felt recoil while you're shooting it compared to the 38, I'm sorry, the 32 from the PPK. Right. Where you get that little bit of a jump. This one's going to be a little bit more, but all that weight at the front of the gun is going to help keep the muzzle rise from uh, to a minimum. All right. Well, it's easy enough to talk about it, but let's actually see what it's like in real application. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, Ray. Here we go. Back at the range. Let's Remind everybody of the gun. All right. Walther P5 in 9mm. All right. What are we expecting from this now? 9mm. Um, Compared to what we've been shooting, the 9mm definitely has more of, a, more of a kickback. You will feel a little bit more recoil from it, but it's still manageable. All right. Just make sure you have a good grip and you're good to go. Can't wait. Alright, going hot. Okay, this is this one. The other safeties. Uh, once the bag goes in, that's your slide release. Pump that down. And it's going to be chambered and ready. So I don't need to bring it back at all? Nope. As wow. soon as you drop that, it'll do it all by itself. These get so much easier as they get more modern. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, I like that. I like and that slide. already cut, so you're ready to go. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my stance like uh, allegedly <laughs> supposed to. Here we go. Definitely different than the Walter PPK, uh, but, but I enjoyed it. It's definitely a more modern touch to it. And the trigger feels a lot different too. Yeah, yeah. So we have quite an interesting one coming up. We do. Talk to me about uh, this little goodie right here. Uh, this is the Beretta Jetfire in 25 caliber. Um, made for, uh, specifically aimed towards women. Uh, we get a good chance to view that in License to Kill uh, mm. when um, Timothy Dalton's bond reaches into his CIA partner's garter and removes a chrome wall. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, the interesting thing about it is the tilt barrel. Uh, once you load the magazine, you load it into the, from the bottom, you can actually tilt the bottle to put in your first round that's going to be chambered and then close it. So if you have weaker wrists or hands, instead of wrapping the side completely, you can chamber the round just like that. And these go all the way back to Thunderbolt, Man with the Golden Gun, Spy Who Loved Me, I mean quite a few of them, right? Yes, sir. Wow. All right. So I can't wait to try this just because uh, it looks fun. I, I love, uh, you know, how this kind of clicks up. I wish I knew the terminology around that, but um, let's go do it. All right. Here we go. Remind everybody that what the, this gun is. Alrighty. So this is the Beretta Jetfire. Uh, we've seen it in multiple Bond movies. 
uh, mostly by the female leads in the movies. Yep. Um, 25 caliber, again, right. uh, a lot of fun. Safety's off, going hot. Clear. So very cool. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna jump in. Good. And the last bullet, uh, right, that's right here. Just gonna drop that into the barrel. Just squeeze it all the way down. Yeah, just all push right. that. Okay. Whenever you're ready, safety is off. So once you drop the bullet in the barrel, close the barrel, safety down, and you're ready to fire. Okay. So literally like that. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And safety down. Safety down. Here we and go. Just like the PPK, watch out for the slide plate. Oh, thank you. Move that down a little bit then. I loved it. Perfect. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Very cool. I don't know why. Maybe it's the cool factor. Maybe it's the way that it moves. But again, a lot of fun. Very smooth too. Yeah, yeah. For a tiny little gun like that, um, the recoil is minimized. It's it's a fun little gun. Yeah. Now I see something sitting right there. Um, yeah. The uh, what is what do we have here? <laughs> uh, the Walther LP5, which isn't actually a handgun per se. It's a air pistol. Um, it's never seen in any of the movies, but it's one of the most iconic Bond guns from the uh, from Russia with Love posters with Connery. Yes, so they use this for a lot of different publicity shots and things like that. We are not firing this today because A, we're not here to fire BBs, but B, uh, this one needs a little love and care and repair. It does, it does. Okay, so we'll put this aside, but, but one that doesn't need love and repair, and it's total badass, I have to say, is uh, this one right here. So what do we have here? The Walther P99 and 9mm. Uh, we also have a Silencer Co. Omega 9K suppressor as well. That's a lot of numbers. That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, this one's going to be a lot of fun to shoot. It's one of my personal favorites. It's extremely accurate. Um, it's going to be quiet, uh, but we're still going to use our ear protection as per safety. Now, where do we see this? We see this in uh, Die Another Day. Uh, we see it throughout most of Pierce Brosnan, all most the way up until Casino Royale. Uh, started in t with Tomorrow Never Dies. And is this the one in Casino Royale he takes out of the Manila envelope? And uh... yes, sir, yes, sir. All right. Um, did you did you go to all the detail of getting Manila envelope for the I, shooting range? I did. We had an issue with the mailman bringing it all to you. So. These things happen, so we're just going to have to shoot it like the real gun that we should respect. Absolutely. All right. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. All right, Ray. So as you mentioned with this. Um, we could, in a perfect scenario, actually take these off. We're not, because there's certain safety and regulations we should abide by. Absolutely. But absolutely. it's going to be a very suppressed sound, it sounds like. It, it very much is. Uh, it's a 9mm. This is the Walther P99 uh, with a Silencer Co. Omega 9K suppressor. It's not a silencer, it's a suppressor. It takes the decibels down, uh, so where you can take off your protection. Like I said, because we're an indoor range, we're going to leave them on. All right, let's do it. You on HUD? Thank you. What's amazing with this is you're absolutely right. It's not your typical movie sound, um, but it is very light. So here we go. Safety's off. Safety's off. So it was interesting, I was warned about this, but there's a, uh, a slight peppering, uh, almost like, you're right, sand against your forehead, and that's because of the, uh, the suppressor, correct? Uh, yes, not all the propellant's getting burnt out um, as it's leaving the barrel, so you kind of get that blowback in your face from it. But. An amazing feeling, by the way, it's so <laughs> cool. As I thought, that was amazingly fun. I mean, the suppressor and everything, you really do feel that, that blast, that sand, and 
the smell it just puts you in there. The unfortunate things about using a suppressor, not all the propellant gets burnt off, and that's when yeah. you get blown back in your face. But it does help so much with the uh, the decimal levels and all. I like really the taste of it. I don't know. It's something <laughs> I could acquire. Um, so we've got something coming up now. This is uh, Holly Berry's Cheetah, right? From um, I was going to say Die Another Day, and it is Die Another Day. So this is the one that she uses when she's in the uh, therapy clinic. I remember she dispatches the good doctor pretty quickly. What type of ammunition are we going to be shooting out of this one? This one we're going to 380, which is a 9mm short. Um, if you're into PPKs and the other German guns, you'll see it referenced as a 9mm mil, uh, Kurtz, or Kurtz uh, which is short in German. Okay, so we are not going to be putting on an orange bikini for this or a floral dress. I know, shucks. Uh, we're going to lose viewers if we do that. We're just going to wear this stuff and uh, let's give this a fire. Sounds good. All right, you know we had to do this. Holly Berry can't be wrong. What gun do we have again? The Beretta Cheetah in 380. All right, let's go for it. Had some flash to it. It does, it does. It's a lot of fun. Nice. I'm in it. Let's do it. Is this another one where I don't have to slide it I pull it back? Just... Yep, yeah, this one actually has a slide release on the other side. The cool part about it, um, they're ambidextrous. Uh, so your safety's on the rear and your slide release and magazine release. So once the magazine goes in, you bump that down with your thumb, that'll send the uh, slide forward and you're chambered and ready to go. Cool. Here we go. I'll try to do that. Remember to do the, the right stance. There we go. That's also the slide release. No, slide release is right. Perfect. All right. Wow. Great fun. Uh, now we've got something, but now this one is the Walther P P PPKS. Thank you. What's wrong with me? It's early. Um, and there's a bit of controversy over this. Was it used? Was it not used? Talk to me about That's that. That's true. So in 1968, um, there was a Gun Control Act for importation to the United States, uh, banning the PPK. So what Walther did was they paired a PPK with PP, uh, PP frame to get that extra length out of it and that's how we ended up with the PPK Sport. In Skyfall, when he meets Q in the museum, yes. uh, he presents him with the, uh, the new PPK and references it as an S. Uh, the controversy being the S could have stood for signature for the palm reader that's built into the grip. Right. I think on AJB there's a lot of discussion. There's a thread that goes on and on and on right. about this. So if you want to see more about this discussion, Head over to AJB and you can join the discussion. You're probably part of it as well. Absolutely. Being one of our resident gurus. Great. Uh, let's uh, let's go give it a whirl. All right, everybody. Remind us the gun. PPKS in 380. All right. Can't wait. You're gonna be so great. All right, I'll jump in. Jump in. There you go. It's all right. Oh, jeez. All right, here we go. Part two. <laughs> and full rack. Rack the chamber you're in. Perfect. And safety off. And fire away. <laughs> okay, so here we have something. Now, uh, what do we got? Uh, Skyfall, this is the Glock 17. Uh, Bond dispatches a henchman and grabs it at the uh, yes. Silva's Island scene. That's right, and this is, uh, this is one of my favorite scenes in Skyfall because it's so, um, it's so glib. I mean, Bond basically is holding this against Silva and he's like radio, you know, it's just like a gun and a radio. <laughs> Not exactly Christmas, but um, that's right, he, all the henchmen that were sort of dressed alike and then he wrestles this away, you think Bond has lost his touch and that's when you realize that Bond is back in action. Uh, which is great. So let's see. Uh, let's see what our actions like with this. Black 17, right. nine millimeter. All right. And again, that one has a real throaty pitch to it too. It does. It does. 
Not a whole lot of recoil because of the size of the frame. Okay. Um, it kind of keeps the muzzle down when you're shooting, as opposed to getting a real big flip because they have a shorter back. Sounds good. All right. All right. Perfect. I'm going to do that stance. I know it's bad. <laughs> I see something staring at me that looks very familiar. Wh which one is uh, which one is this? Uh, that is an H and K USP. This one particular uh, co USP compact. Uh, particularly, uh, we see it in Casino Royale. Um, ah, this is Malacca's gun. Yes. All right. So what's interesting about this gun is not only is a Malacca's gun, and you see him shoot construction workers, and he, he uses it. But this is also a projectile weapon that Bond uses. It is, it is. It, uh, it worked great as a melee weapon on top of the uh, construction. And, and this is heavy enough, believe me, this could do serious damage. Maybe not as much as the uh, ammunition in it, but, <laughs> right, right. but, but let's see. Let's just uh, let's go have fun with it. All right, what do we got? HK USP chambered in 9mm. All right, go to world. Save. Oh, see what Malaka had to say. <laughs> Safety. Yes. Uh, you still have your slide release right here. Uh, right now you're in safe, so once the magazine goes in and you send the slide forward, give that a bump down, and you're good to go. Sounds good. Here we go. Nope, we're good. Oh, good. Safety. Perfect. Inspector, poor Madeline, weep, weep, weep. Bond tries to teach her how to disassemble, load, yeah. and operate the SIG 226 in 9mm. And this was the gun that, was that they had on the train. Absolutely. Okay. We were, by the way, do we know even where Bond got that gun from all of a sudden? No. Might have brought it with him to Tangier. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, then Madeline kind of does all those fancy things. Uh, she's not as good as you, but she's pretty <laughs> damn good. Uh, what kind of ammunition is this shoot? Uh, the SIG 226 is this particular one is chambered in 9mm. Alright, so let's give this a try and we'll try to recreate the, uh, as if Madeline got off the train and started using this. Here we go. Alright, now we're pretending to be Madeline Swan. Here we go. So, SIG Sour 226 in 9mm. Alright. Keep on Spectre still, right? What, what do we have here? Uh, this one was one of the more iconic ones from Spectre. Uh, we see it a lot in the um, promo shots, wearing the ski outfit. That's uh, an H and K uh, VP 9mm. All right, and yeah, that's right. This is where uh, he leaves the clinic and he dispatches that first guy that he runs into. He does the little flip, he gets this, shoots the guy, shoots another guy. And this is probably the one that he has in the airplane. I would assume, since he held on to that gun. I believe so. And then he shoots another guy in the Land Rover. So Bond uses this quite a bit. Yes, he does. So let's get an idea of what Bond felt like. Absolutely. All right. All right, we flipped over the guy and we're ready to shoot it. Which gun is this again? H&K VP9 and 9mm. All right. It does, it does. It's a little snappy too. Um, the grips, they're extremely ergonomic, a lot like a P99, so it's going to feel really good in your hand. I'm ready. So 
So for this, uh, once it goes in, hit this. Yep, that's okay. your slide release. That'll chamber the round and it's good to go. Right. And then again, this is uh, just like the D99 and the other HK, the magazine releases on the tube. Perfect. All right. Folks, there's just so much you can take in at one time, but we're going to actually stop part one, but don't worry about part two of this vlog of the different armaments and guns of James Bond is coming soon to this vlog. Be patient. The best is yet to come. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hi. Didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 